Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie and today I am doing a five minute review on Witch Miss Seaton by Heron Carvick. Which Miss Seaton is the third book in the Miss Seaton Mystery series and in this one a group of people claiming to be part of the New Science religion appear in the village and are trying to recruit new people and Miss Seaton is sent undercover by the police to try and find out what all of that entails. So three good points. The first good point is there was a couple of funny bits in the book that were... these. they made me laugh. There were a couple that were the mispronunciation of words um, or the misunderstanding of words, which did make me giggle. There was a bit when a young boy was trying to tell Miss Seaton that his mother was new science, but pronounced it new science. And Miss Seaton misunderstood that to be that he was calling her a nuisance and reprimanded him. That made me giggle. There's one or two points like that throughout the book though. The second good point, there were a couple of occasions where it was quite obvious what was going to happen and instead of it being like, oh, here we go, it was, oh, this is going to happen and the build-up actually made it funnier. So I, I quite like that. Throughout the book, the entire village thinks that Miss Eaton is a witch and on spying on her... Things are misinterpreted and so that makes it quite funny. Okay, so I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't have a third good point about this book. Yeah, I know that's really bad and I, I swear I tried to find a third good point but it just wasn't happening. I didn't like this book. On the upside though, I have many, many bad points and I struggle to narrow it down to three. So the first bad point about the book is the way it's written. The, I wasn't a fan of the style of the book. The style seemed to change depending on what character that paragraph was focused on. Miss Seaton's ch paragraphs were, well, one wouldn't think one would do that that way. One would think one would do it this way. And that was a bit irritating. But then if it was a different character, for example, the police officer it would be written in an accent and I don't have a problem with books where the speech is written in an accent but I do have a problem when that leaks into the narrative if it's not a first person narrative. So that became very irritating. There was also a couple of points, there was a racial term used. There was also use of a word that was formally used to describe a mentally disabled person that I wasn't happy was in the book. And it was just overall just a really poorly written style of book. The second bad point is the plot points. There was a couple of plot points that started and were never finished or they didn't make sense. So a, a young woman who's in the book that is murdered but instead of covering up this murder they blatantly lay her on the altar of a church where they had been known to hold their meetings. Once she's been murdered it's never mentioned again. It was just full of a lot of unexplained plot holes that really I wasn't a fan of. <sighs> okay, okay, here we go. The third point in this book, and I knew I wasn't going to like this straight away the minute I picked up the book because of this. I don't know if you can see it, the light is terrible. It is a goat's head with a pentagram on the top. Straight away I knew that this book would be about Satanism and they will be calling it witchcraft. And I was right. That annoys the holy hell out of me. Witchcraft and Satanism are two very different things. And you straight away I wasn't going to like this book. It's it's really strange. They focus on the new science but then there's also the second part of it where a man dresses as the devil with a goat's head and gathers up all the witches and they have a separate ritual but they're connected. But the fact that it didn't even fit into the story, the Satanism and the new science, they didn't meld together but they were the same con. It was just a poorly written out plot. But the fact that they, that they confuse the witchcraft with the Satanism, it just annoys the crap out of me guys. So I gave Witch Miss Satan 
two out of five stars and the two stars are for the two bits that I found really funny. Yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't like this book and I started reading it and by about page 15 I was like, yeah, I'm not going to enjoy this. But I am not one to let a book defeat me. I will do my utmost not to DNF a book and Miss Seaton came close to breaking that rule. I'm not going to lie to you, she came very close to breaking that rule. But I, I stuck out and to be quite honest, I wish I hadn't. So I just want to say, you might notice I'm sat back a bit. I've got a really bad back today. Um, I'm not being very like, I'm so casual. Look at me reading my book. So yes, that is my five minute review of Witch Miss Seaton by Herring Carvick. I hope you enjoyed it. The review, not the book, because I didn't enjoy the book. So yeah, I would be thoroughly appreciative if you liked this video, leave me a comment, say hi. Have you read the book? What did you think? Am I being ridiculous if I said it wrong? I don't know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you'll be the first to know when a new video is up. But other than that, that's all for now guys. Have an amazing day and I will see you later. Mwah!